Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. Hey guys, we're your hosts, M and J, and today we're talking about Disney live action remakes again. We're only weeks away from the remake of The Lion King, but there's already news about some of the new films that are coming out, like Mulan and The Little Mermaid, which honestly isn't too surprising considering the fact that all the creative work has already been done, so they can crank out three or four of these movies a year. The sad thing is, Disney doesn't even like these movies anymore. You can tell by the way they talk about them. They're embarrassed by these movies. They really believe that they're harmful to kids, and it's clear that they want to distance themselves from all of that. We've already talked about why we disagree with those opinions, but that's not gonna matter when you have movie stars like Kira Knightley speaking against Disney when she's been in several Disney movies. But on the other hand, Disney wants to make easy money off of nostalgia, but they don't even really understand why people have a nostalgia for these movies. They were good, solid movies. People don't remember movies that were mediocre, but these movies have a timeless quality because they have fun characters, great animation, and interesting stories, even if there are people who don't want to see that. Despite the financial success of these movies, which is to be expected, these films have caused casualties within the company. We've lost new and interesting properties like Gigantic, and who knows what else Disney had behind the scenes but were unfortunately scrapped to focus on these movies instead. Not to mention all the new movies movies they could be thinking of, but instead they're focusing all their energy in these remakes just because they're safe and they know they'll make a profit. It's disappointing because there's an entire world of folklore they can pull inspiration from. They will literally never run out of options. People often say that they want to see diverse characters, and that's understandable, so why not have Disney pull from African folklore, or Asian, or South American folklore? That would be really interesting and great to see. For example, Moana premiered only a few years ago. Instead of remaking a movie they don't like anymore, they made a new movie featuring Polynesian culture and a Polynesian princess, and it was really successful. I think that this proves that they can do it and they can take risks that pay off. And we'd much rather see new movies with new characters than these soulless, lifeless, cash-grabbing remakes. Disney's live-action remake of Mulan is in the works, and from what we've heard of this movie, it doesn't even seem like Disney's Mulan. Apparently, there's no Mushu, Shang is being replaced, and Mulan has mysterious powers? And on top of all that, they've apparently cut all the musical numbers. If they're going to make this many changes, maybe they should just have a new movie, instead of a live-action remake of a beloved classic. They can make a new movie set in China, but if they did that, they wouldn't have that nostalgia bait. And Mulan is one of the Disney movies that usually avoids the hate that most Disney princess movies get because she was a woman who went to war. The Little Mermaid is also in the works, and that's a movie that tends to get a lot of hate because people think that Ariel only cared about getting with a hot guy. We've talked about Disney's Mulan and The Little Mermaid in a previous video about how they're very good movies and there's actually a lot more to them than people realize. But I'm sure they'll be ignored for these remakes. But we're also getting information about Disney's live-action Little Mermaid remake. And of course, of course we have thoughts, so let's get to it. The Little Mermaid premiered in 1989, so that's 30 years of this character and this movie's existence. We've had a movie, a television series, and a lot of merchandise. And that's not even including her various other appearances like Kingdom Hearts, House of Mouse, Sophia the First, among others. Even within her media, she stands out. She's the only one of her sisters whose tail doesn't match her top, so right away you can tell she's the main character because she's so recognized recognizable in her design. So 30 years after she became a pop culture icon, they are now remaking her movie. And they recently announced that Halle Bailey was going to play her in this new movie. But after 30 years of this very recognizable design, to switch it out so suddenly is pretty jarring. Honestly, people would be upset if she were blonde. That's how recognizable Ariel is. She's the only redheaded princess. And the media has been on this kick lately where they've been replacing all the redheads in fiction. Not just through race bending, but they also did this with Sira and the Princesses of Power with Castaspella and Seahawk. Now there are no redheads in this show, despite their emphasis on diversity, which is kind of weird. We're all for diversity, but why can't we get new, exciting, and diverse properties instead of them recycling the old stuff? Wouldn't it be great to have a Caribbean princess? Or have more African folklore be represented in Hollywood? It's not like Tiana has to be the only black Disney princess, or Mulan has to be the only Chinese princess, and we still don't have a movie with a 
Valentina princess. Sure, there's Elena of Avalor, but that's a TV show, and she's not going to appear in Wreck-It Ralph. But instead of branching out, which would take creativity and thought, they're going to take their old movies, which they're now embarrassed by, use them for nostalgia bait, and then claim that they're fixing them, just like they did with Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast. That way they can distance themselves from the negative press they got, like with Kira Knightley, and get all this new press about how they care so much about feminism and diversity, when in reality it's just a cash grab. I'm curious about what this means for Disney's brand going forward. Are they going to keep the girls who play Ariel in the parks? Or are they going to replace them so they'll match the live action version? They're so set on keeping everything in the parks the same so as to not break the magic, but what are they gonna do now? If they do some Disney princess crossovers like with Wreck-It Ralph 2, are they going to go with the animated design or are they going to come up with a new design to match the live action version? Isn't it sad that Disney won't even look at all this other folklore from all these different cultures and instead will just take a movie that they've already done, cast a black actress, and then let Twitter and the media do all the marketing work for them? Anyone who has any sort of criticism for this movie can just be written off as racist. Just like how any criticism for Ghostbusters 2016 was written off as sexist. Disney doesn't actually care about representation. If they did, we would be getting more movies like Moana. But instead, we're getting all these safe and soulless cash grab remakes that find the originals to be harmful but are still willing to use them to make a quick buck. And the two of us are way past tired of it. But that's just our opinion. What do you guys think? Are you a fan of these remakes? Or would you rather see Disney branch out to new movies? We know these remakes have their fans and we're happy that they can get entertainment out of these properties. We just wish they would stop hating so much on the originals and that Disney would take more risks and make more movies for us to enjoy. All of us. It's because the media and Twitter keep covering for Disney that we'll never get an African folklore Disney princess or a Japanese Disney princess or a Latina Disney princess that could actually be in Wreck-It Ralph. But if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Bye guys.